Okay, so today we're going to show you one way that you may choose to use to build yourself a silicone or wood beaded ring. And you can also use this to make bracelets. So in order to do that, you're going to need some type of nylon cord. And we provide some nice silky smooth nylon cord in all of our craft kits. You may also need some beads. And in this case, we've chosen some silicone beads. You can also do this with wood beads. And then as optional add-ons, you can include wood rings, silicone pendant shapes, wood pendant shapes, and that might just add some interest to your ring. So in order to start, you are going to need a pair of scissors, the cord, the beads, and you're going to either need a larger beading style needle or which I what I like to use a lot is the good old paper clip and in this case we always provide a paper clip with our craft kits and you just need to straighten it out so that you've got something that sort of resembles a needle you're not, not going to need that right away though okay so the first step is simply to thread the beads onto the cord and this can actually be done with or without a paper clip or a needle. As you can see, it's actually quite quick to thread them on, at least for the first part of this, just with the string. You can choose to use as many of the beads as were provided in the craft kit or as few. It's totally up to you. After all, this is your craft. So we will just use them all this time. And then what we're going to do is to slide these down a little bit. And we're going to start by tying a knot. We can actually just use a fairly simple knot this time. We're actually going to thread these all the way through a second time. So we're going to do is we're going to, oh, goodness, I guess this is where I would say, go ahead and put on anything that you wanted to put on. It's kind of a little extra interest. Make sure you do that before you start tying your first knot. So here we are, we're gonna tie that first knot. And it's actually just a pretty simple knot. I'll make it nice and tight. And as you can tell, here you are, you've already got your shape. Now, if you were comfortable enough with that knot, you can go ahead and call it done. Um, I prefer to thread the cord through a second time and do a second knot. So we'll go ahead and just do that now. So this is where that paper clip will come in handy. Okay, so here I've actually gone ahead and fed through this piece of cord all the way back and around, and I've almost made it all the way back. I'm actually just going to leave it about three beads short in this case, and the reason I'm going to do that is because my original knot is right over here, and I'm going to feed this smaller tail over the three beads so that my second knot is actually going to be in a second position. This is just a personal preference. You can, again, do it however you like. This is your craft. So here I am. I'm just going to feed that second shorter tail through one bead. Two beads. three beads and now I simply need to pull this off and secure with another knot. Now you can choose to do this a third or fourth time. It's really up to you. And once you're done that, to pull this fairly snug like this so I can snip with some scissors and you can choose to use a lighter to simply 
keep those edges from fraying. And there you are, a completed ring and beads with some adornment.